Hold on to your waffle fries. Something brand new is debuting at Chick-fil-A. The home of the original chicken sandwich just announced that it's rolling out a never-before-seen menu item. And believe it or not, it's got nothing to do with chicken. No chicken. What do you mean, no chicken? Let us be the first to introduce you to the Chick-fil-A cauliflower sandwich. Yep, you heard that right. This is the chain's first totally plant-based sandwich, and it's based directly on feedback from loyal customers who were seeking a plant-forward menu item that still tastes, looks, and feels like Chick-fil-A. Our cauliflower is very nice. While it's pretty safe to assume that anything you can find on the Chick-fil-A menu is going to be crave-worthy, we can tell you firsthand that the cauliflower sandwich is bound to be a crowd-pleaser. Even for the most dedicated of chicken fans, Chick-fil-A invited Mashed Out to their test kitchen in Atlanta, Georgia to be one of the first to taste this sandwich before it hits the market. We showed up hungry, lined up our favorite dipping sauces, and took the job very seriously. Keep watching for the inside scoop on the new cauliflower sandwich and our honest review of what's soon to be the newest star of the Chick-fil-A menu. Cauliflower is all the rage right now, whether you're vegetarian, super health conscious, or just trying to add more veggies to your diet. It makes a killer gluten-free pizza crust, you can turn it into a healthier white rice substitute, and you're missing out if you've never subbed out your game-day chicken wings with buffalo cauliflower. And now you can get it in sandwich form, freshly made from Chick-fil-A. The cauliflower slices are pressure-cooked, soaked in a secret Chick-fil-A marinade, and then hand-breaded using the same method as their chicken sandwiches. That means they're not strictly vegan, as they're dipped in a milk and egg mixture and then heavily coated in CFA's proprietary breading, just like the real thing. The sandwich is then finished off in true Chick-fil-A style with two dill pickle chips and a buttery toasted bun. At first glance, this sandwich looks a lot like Chick-fil-A's original chicken sandwich. In fact, you'll need to take a real close look to even tell the difference between the two. And while it would make sense that the chicken chain would have designed the plant-based offering this way on purpose, the culinary mastermind behind the new creation, Chef Stuart Tracy, insists the uncanny resemblance is a happy accident. Regardless, we were hooked from the first bite. The breaded cauliflower is full of spicy, savory flavor that's reminiscent of their signature chicken, but with a subtly sweeter taste that comes naturally from the vegetable. The texture is what really knocks the sandwich out of the park, though. It's the perfect balance of tender but with a little bit of a bite, and it's surprisingly juicy for a vegetable that's been cooked twice. The cauliflower is perfect at soaking up whatever dipping sauce you decide to jazz up your sandwich with. The zesty buffalo sauce offered the perfect salty tang to complement the cauliflower's flavor, while the garden herb ranch made for a creamy foil to the spicy notes. Our only word of caution, to all those who swear by Chick-fil-A sauce, we found the sweetness of the sauce to be a bit too sweet to balance out the flavor of the cauliflower. It's no surprise that Chick-fil-A nailed it with their newest offering. The company has spent nearly five years crafting and developing the cauliflower sandwich, trying hundreds of samples and endlessly toying with the recipe and cooking method until it landed on the perfect product. And once the ultimate cauliflower sandwich was perfected, Chick-fil-A had to make sure it was possible to execute it across its thousands of kitchens around the country while still being able to deliver the quality customers expect and keep that drive through line moving, of course. For now, Chick-fil-A's new cauliflower sandwich will be available starting February 13th at locations in Denver, Colorado, Charleston, South Carolina, and North Carolina's Greensboro Triad area. If the new menu item is a hit, which we fully expect it will be, then the chain will bring it to menus nationwide and hopefully a Chick-fil-A near you.